Hi Essex, so today we are moving on, we're still sticking with area, but today we are looking at the area of triangles. Now, before we get into that, I've got a little fluency starter for you coming up. Same as ever, it's timed, so you've got 30 seconds before the answers come up, or you can pause the video and work your way through it in your own time. Now, it's an imposter's maths uh, starter, so you've got to find there's two imposters or two wrong answers. So see if you can find the wrong answers and uh, explain why they're wrong and what the right answer should be. So the imposters were the orange one, the answer should have been 21, and the brown one, which should have been 6,912. So today we're looking at area. Now, previously, when we looked at area, we think about squares and rectangles. We know the formula for that is the area equals the length times by the width, or length times by height, okay? Now today is slightly different. So this is for our rectangles, and squares. Today we are looking at the area of triangles. Now this gives us a different formula. The formula for the area of a triangle is base times height divided by 2. Now that looks like a really difficult piece of formula but you know all about what that means. When two letters are next to each other, it means they're times. So we've got base, here's the base, times by the height, how tall it is, to the highest point. And then our answer divided by two. Okay, so this just means divided by two. Now I want you to look at this triangle. See if you can identify the base of the triangle, the height of the triangle, and use that to help figure out the area of the triangle. Now there's also a question there. Can you figure out if that triangle can be changed into a rectangle? How might this help us? Is there more than one way to do this? Have an investigation. Here is one way you might have turned it into a rectangle. As you can see, we have created some right angles and turned that into a four-sided shape. You might even notice that the yellow triangle is actually occupying half of the area of the rectangle. Hopefully that might help you to understand a bit more about our formula. So here, I've done a sketch of that same triangle. The base is 14 centimetres, obviously it's not accurate. The height is 12 centimetres, and then this side is 13, and that side 15 centimetres. Let's turn it into the rectangle like I've just shown you. Now to find the area of that rectangle, we would do the length, which is 14 centimetres, multiplied by this width or height, which is 12 centimetres. Be careful not to use this one because it's the length of the side. The height, or the full length from here to here, is 12 centimetres. We've given that information. So 14 centimetres times by 12 centimetres. That will give me the area of the rectangle, which is 168 centimetres. Okay, so that's the area of the rectangle. However, as we've just discussed, the area of a triangle is half of the base times the height. So we can swap that out. The base times the height is just the same, 14 times by 12, which gives us 168. But now I need to do half of that, okay? Half times that or half of that. So the actual area of my triangle, see if you can work it out, is 84 centimetres just like we were before, we need to use squared, okay? I now want you to see if you can use that formula to see if you can work out the area of these triangles. 
Now if you're stuck, your first step could be turn these into squares or rectangles, count the squares and then halve it, see what answer you get. So after I've these triangles for us to work through together, you can mark it as we go along. Obviously I've got square background, but I've labelled the sides for us. So let's start off with our orange triangle. It's four squares by four squares. So if we think about our formula, or we can turn this into a square, because we know it's got equal sides. To find the area of that square, we would do four times by four. Four times by four gives us 16. But our triangle is half of that area, so we need to do half of 16, which is going to give us eight centimetres squared. Don't forget your unit of measure. Second one, over here. Again, this is going to create a square for us because we've got equal sides. Find the area of the square, we would do five multiplied by five length times width, which gives us 25 centimetres. Again, our triangle is half of the area of our square. So we need to do half 25, which gives us 12.5 centimetres squared. Okay, so you have to go into a decimal for that one. Now this one is slightly different because you actually turn it into a rectangle, it's not a square. So let's draw it out. Here's our rectangle. We still do the same thing, so to find the area we do the length times the width, or the base times the height, exactly the same, four times by two, which gives us eight, but our triangle is half of that area, it's still the same, it's half of that. So half of eight gives us four centimetres squared. If you got those, well done. Now I want you to think back to this first triangle. See if you can identify another way that we can turn this into a rectangle and whether that would affect our formula of how to calculate its area. So here is the other possibility. If you found this, really well done. Let's investigate what they've done. So let's think back. Our formula for the area of a triangle is base times height divided by two. It's just exactly the same as writing it out like this. The dimensions were the base was 14 and the height was 12. However, in that diagram, they have cut off the top of the triangle and created it into a different type of rectangle. Now all they've done is put those rectangles, or those triangles, sorry, back over here to create that rectangle. If you have some pieces of paper at home, perhaps you could investigate. If we look at our formula, how they would work that out then is they've done 12, which is the height, 12 divided by two, so they've done this part first, giving us six, and then times it by the base. So six times by 14. It still gives you the same answer of the area of the triangle that we had the first time, which was 84 centimeters squared. I want you to have a think about, I'm not going to go through it, but have a think about if there is another way that you could work out that formula. Now I think this has possibly made the calculation easier because we can do 12 divided by 2 and 6 times 14 is a much easier calculation than our first calculation which was 14 times by 12. Do you think that would impact the answer and the area of that triangle? Have a think about it and let me know any of your thoughts. Hopefully you've managed to follow on with that today. I know it was some new learning, so take your time. Feel free to go back and re-watch parts of the video until you make sure you understand it. Your task is over on Purple Mash. It's slightly different today. It's a two publish, so the worksheet's there and there's some text boxes for you to write in your answers. Anything that you struggle with, please let me know, either via the blog or on the email address, so that I can know issues to address in further videos. Good luck, try your best, and I'll see you tomorrow.